Since the dawn of humanity, people have told stories to escape into fantasy worlds. Modern technologies turn this dream into reality by allowing the creation of highly immersive virtual worlds. A growing number of people spend hours socializing, playing and even earning money in these alternative universes. Blockchain further accelerated this trend by providing the last piece of metaverse puzzle a sustainable economic basis for monetizing virtual activities. Such a global transformation of human experience will inevitably influence businesses in all industries. Those who understand the metaverse and seize this opportunity will earn tremendous wealth. In this video, we will discuss the history of metaverse, how blockchain is accelerating its growth, and then we'll focus on eight ways in which any business can expand into metaverse. My friends, welcome to Starbucks Insights, a video series about capital raising and financial industry, brought to you by an award-winning consulting and technology company. Visit our website to learn more about our products and services and how they can benefit your business. The metaverse is a set of virtual realities where people can engage in different activities. Some virtual worlds aim to replace real life, implementing a vast range of mechanics, professions, items and interactions. For example, Sandbox has an active virtual map where you can buy land, create experiences such as rock concerts or webinars and sell at places to the companies. In contrast, others are less ambitious and provide a smaller number of activities developed with deeper nuance. For example, Axie Infinity is a much simpler game that focuses on raising Pokémon-like creatures, which can fight with each other, grow in power and even be sold on the secondary market. Therefore, Metaverse entails quite a broad range of use cases. The ultimate goal is to engage users to spend as much time in Metaverse as possible, interact with its content and generate this content. Attention and engagement are the key resources that are monetized. Historically, the roots of Metaverse lie in massive multiplayer online games known as MMOs. The first versions of such games were known back in the 70s, even before the advent of the Internet. Back then, MMOs were played not within the graphic interface, but via text. The first MMOs in a modern understanding of the world were conceived in the early 90s. This game became increasingly popular, attracted huge player bases and earned substantial profits. The stunning success of the world of Warcraft in 2000s gave ground to widespread discussion in the media about gaming addiction and the virtual life overtaking the real one. The MMO genre flourished and multiple new franchises emerged, offering self-sufficient mythology and the history of the game world. The fact that MMOs predate even the Internet and their overall popularity indicate that the dream of virtual worlds where people can be anyone isn't a temporary hype, but an expression of an inherent human drive for connection, adventure and mystery. Do you agree with the critics of the gaming industry that it allows people to escape from problems instead of facing them and deprive people of the real human connection? Or do you believe the metaverse to be the next evolutionary stage for human society? Leave your opinion in the comments down below. Despite such high promises, we haven't seen the majority of population migrate into virtual worlds yet. The big reason for that is economics. A continuous virtual world requires an economic basis for the interaction between players and a healthy way for developers to monetize their efforts. The lack of proper financial infrastructure halted the potential of metaverse. Blockchain technology can change this. Blockchain has three vital functions in the fabric of metaverse. Firstly, it creates an infrastructure for economic activity within these universes. Initially, the in-game economy mainly consisted of marketplaces where players could sell gaming items for an internal currency. 
blockchain enables a significantly more expansive number of mechanics in which game items can be fractionalized, transferred between universes and linked to a stream of royalties. It enables lending, short selling, issuing derivatives and myriad other possibilities. Imagine, for example, that you have a unique sword which is one of the three swords that have participated in all the battles since the launch of the game, so it's quite expensive. Imagine yourself giving this sword as a collateral to take a loan in the in-game currency. Using this loan, you hire other players to collectively attack the castle with huge treasures hidden in the dungeons. You then use this treasure to repay a loan and sell the rest for in-game currency. Moreover, as the game currency is traded on a crypto exchange, you withdraw it for cash and, for example, buy yourself a new Porsche. While you were engaged in this scheme, your sword was added to a pool of collateral items, securitized and sold to a syndicate of funds that invest in the virtual economy to hedge against the next lockdown. Such a level of economic activity and sophistication is vital to allow the virtual world to evolve to the complexity of the real one. If you find this video useful, entertaining or inspiring, please make sure to like the video and leave a comment. If you are interested in learning more about innovation in finance, be sure to subscribe to our channel. The second contribution of blockchain is introducing new monetization strategies. Development and maintenance of virtual worlds are extremely expensive. This leads to very aggressive monetization, which is not formally met by the players. On the other hand, blockchain creates a range of indirect monetization approaches, like selling the virtual land or issuing the game's utility token, which grows in demand alongside the game and brings profit to the developer company. When the in-game items and currency are actual assets, players see more value in purchasing them. This simultaneously increases revenue from the sale of a game items and player satisfaction as far as the game develops and assets rise in price, therefore resolving the monetization dilemma. Thirdly, blockchain enables participative governance. Due to superior governance, decentralized autonomous organizations are rising in popularity. In the last two years, the market capitalization of top 10 DAO tokens increased tenfold. Decentralized governance allows for a shared creation of a virtual multiverse. The history of MMO games has shown that players swallow any game content developers create extremely fast. Therefore, the only way for Metaverse to engage players sustainably is to have players themselves create the game content. In some way, as in real life, players and their interactions are game content. But such participatory creation requires shared governance because of two reasons. Firstly, it aligns incentives of players and developers in a more direct way than satisfaction service or measurement of engagement rates. Thus, players are more likely to create a world where they will want to stay longer and which they will enjoy more. Secondly, governance itself is another engagement mechanic that forces people to interact, argue, create alliances and grow even more attached to the game world. If you would like to learn more about the decision-making practices of decentralized organizations, the legal nuances of their implementation and the reasons why this governance model is preferable, you can watch a recent detailed video we made on the subject. Before discussing the specific applications, let's briefly mention three important benefits of virtual worlds compared to the real one. Firstly, Metaverse is populated with an engaged audience which spends tons of time in this world. You can deliver your messages in multiple interactive ways to build relationships with your clients. The second benefit is the global reach. The audience in Metaverse isn't limited to a particular country, so you can deliver experiences or expand your audience without complicating the logistic. Therefore, if you are a brick-and-mortar business, you can reach a much broader audience at a drastically lower operating cost in virtual reality. Thirdly, the most mind-blowing is that 
any product you offer becomes software. Therefore, now you can apply the economics of infinite scalability and network effects to traditional physical products. This is literally software eating the world. The most straightforward application available to any business is advertising. Even if your product is entirely offline, your audience is likely already in the metaverse or will be there soon. Such ads can be cheaper because not many businesses have recognized the opportunity so far, which is painfully relevant considering advertising prices nowadays. Secondly, you can extend your real-life products and services into metaverse to create gamification for an existing audience. For instance, customers who have accumulated enough loyalty points are admitted to the special location in metaverse owned by the company. This area is unique because you can hand out with other fans of the brand and once a week a C-level manager gives a short talk exclusive to the visitors of a company's virtual space. A more complex application is to actually develop virtual products. Sometimes what you can offer in a virtual world is very obvious. For example, driving a Ferrari in Metaverse is undoubtedly as cool as it would be in real life, so even a virtual Ferrari will be extremely expensive. In other cases, going virtual may require more creativity. Even things that seem deeply linked to the physical world and meaningless in the virtual one can still be adapted with the right dose of inventiveness. Imagine, for example, a metaverse in which buildings have different properties depending on which virtual resources have been spent to create them. The concrete producing company can venture into metaverse to offer unique resources for virtual construction as it did for a physical one. However, for this vision to come true, there has to be a virtual reality which has the mechanic of customizable resources and construction. Given that Metaverse projects develop every day, it's realistic to expect the emergence of such a complex world in the medium term. The fourth approach you can take to conquering Metaverse is focusing on the creation of virtual experiences. An example of this can be a concert or an exhibition. Superstars such as Ariana Grande or Justin Bieber have already held concerts in Metaverse with an audience of millions of viewers. Notice that as the physical needs of a typical person in a developed world are fully satisfied, we are heading towards experiential consumerism, where people primarily shop for entertainment. Therefore, creating immersive virtual experience is a strong bet. Taking a step back to applications that require less extension of business capabilities, consider repurposing your services to a virtual world. Both companies and individuals will require a vast range of services related to Metaverse. Promotion, brand management, technical issues, experience design, graphic design, accounting, legal services, and even virtual real estate brokerage. Now is your chance to establish yourself as a first mover in a market of the future. Other activities that naturally extend from the physical world into a virtual one are investing and developing software. The former includes investing in virtual businesses, speculating on in-game currencies and items, and supporting metaverse projects. The latter includes metaverse-related software ranging from the tool to track your inventory level in a certain universe to interoperability protocol for transferring data between virtual worlds. The most ambitious feat you can undertake is creating your own metaverse. If you have a strong intellectual property, for instance a story or characters, you can make your story come to life. I am pretty sure that Disneyland in metaverse is just a matter of time. In the future, as the software develops, creating your virtual universe will be as easy as making a website today, which offers an unimaginable extension of the humanity's creative potential. As you can see, there are plenty of ways how you can leverage the emerging trend to build wealth. But be cautious that it's not enough to offer great products to succeed in Metaverse. It's also vitally important to comprehend the principles of the crypto economy in which you are going to embed yourself. Our last video about the best practices of developing a token economy 
may be very helpful in building your understanding, so I encourage you to check it out. Stobox is ready to give you a hand in your exciting adventures in Metaverse and provide advisory on the suitable applications and nuances of their implementation. To assess how we can help you, book a 30-minute call with our specialists by filling in the form on our website stobox.io or writing us at info at Stay tuned and see you in the next episode.